<coughs> Morning YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to do a natural makeup look. As you can see I'm wearing a very nice dotty Dalmatian jumper. I'm not trying to be Disney themed, it's just happening. Um, first off what I'm going to do is I've taken my makeup off with a makeup wipe, as you can see. Um, and I'm going to put a little bit of foundation. This is Max Factor Base Affinity. And I'm just going to put that over my eyes and over that one um, and then it doesn't matter if any get on the face because that's where it needs to go obviously and then I'm going to take this this is Maybelline New York Studio and I'm just going to open it very quickly if I can get the damn brush and just put a little bit on the eyelid like so now this is a nude but I would say it's more of a kind of champagne colour and it's quite good if you don't actually want to put anything on your face and you just want natural. So that's that. Just a corner of my eye there. <laughs> um, next what I'm going to do is get my mascaras out. This is the uh, Gosh B Serum and this is the length. Um, this might be a bit hard to do on camera so just bear with me. Um, but you just reach underneath your lash and it kind of strengthens it. It does like this two week growth thing. Which I find quite helpful and I quite enjoy it. Um, so yeah, that's the growth serum. That's actually cheaper than the mascara. The mascara is like 14 quid but it's worth it I suppose. Um, and then I'm just going to layer the mascara over the, um, whoops, I went off camera then. The, uh, eyelashes and as you can see I'm kind of going from the bottom like so um I've got a filler here which is really an eyeliner but I use it for in between the lashes because they don't the problem with mascaras is they only go so far so you kind of have to use a bit more um so I'm just gonna Go kind of around there. And it just kind of, you know, makes the lashes look a bit more symmetrical. Um, the mascaras are kind of crap for that. <laughs> and you just kind of leave that to dry for a few minutes. And then we're going to focus on the face. And as you can see, I've got a very kind of pale um, complexion. complexion. Mm, sorry. And it's not, you know, it, it's kind of. A bit like a vampire's <laughs> complexion. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put on a bit of this face affinity. When I do my review on this, I'm going to go to town on this because it's a lovely foundation, but I hate the squeaky thing. Um, so you just take a little bit and you just whack it across your cheek, and it doesn't really make much of a difference. It just kind of nudes it up a little bit. Um, I find over my mouth, I kind of it gets quite hot and sweaty, so I have to kind of go round again. Um, yeah, so that's my kind of foundation, and you can see it's just kind of um, made my complexion a bit even. If that makes sense. Um, one problem with it though, it does have a little bit of shine. So now I have to put on this. This is Mar Makeup um, Academy. This is shade two. They don't come in beige and pink and all that. They just come in shades. Um, and you just put a little bit on the side like that, and it just takes the shine away. God, I got pale today. <laughs> um, and then last but not least, you put on this. This is uh, Shimmering Glow Powder. I've used a hell of a lot, so you can't really see what it did look like, but that's the back if you can see it. Um, and that just gives me a little bit of a bronzer glow because blush overpowers me a little bit, so we just put a little bit of that on. Um, I tend to leave this part of my face kind of off because I can get the most spots and stuff, so it's better to not clog it up with makeup. Um, what else have I got in here? Uh, I have lipstick. This is a freaking godsend. Um, it's like a dark... I don't know if you can see, it's like a dark pink. And this is from Makeup Academy as well. And this is the shade 2. I'm just going to hit, it kind of looks like this. 
And then on the back, which is a really kind of handy thing, on the back is this. It's, um, I've got like a normal lip brush here. And what it does is it just takes the colour away and it adds shine to my lips. Uh, and obviously it bleeds a little bit because I haven't got that lip coat thingy on and I just kind of whack it on. Um, but yeah, that's my lipstick. It's very nice and kind of soft. Actually, normally lipsticks are very hard and overpowering. Uh, but yeah, it's quite obviously you'll have to forgive the little cold sore I've got in the corner because that's not going to go anywhere anytime soon. I will. So um, that's that. And now I'm going to put on this one. This is the Volume uh, Intense, uh, Volume Million Extra Black. I lay on my mascaras because I have quite small kind of lashes, so I have to layer it and I have to... And again, you're going from the bottom. Um, like... So, um, and you just kind of layer it. It's kind of like a, a rinse repeat. You you layer the mascaras, um, and then obviously, you know, I put this on again. Just to kind of even it out again. I. I have incredibly kind of thin lashes and it's really annoying. Um, so I have to keep kind of doing stuff with them. <laughs> Otherwise I don't achieve the nice lash look and I'd have to go and buy extensions and I really don't want to do that because I'd be a bit terrified the glue's going to get stuck on my eyes. And um, this is the last mascara I'm going to use. This is the Mega Plush. And we're just going to go up as far as we can with that one. Now see, I have eyes, I have eyes. Um, and up here, up here as well. Um, yeah, so that creates the kind of, you know, wide-eyed look. Um, it's not done perfect, but you can't really do it on the camera because you can't see diddly squat. So I'm trying the best I can here. Um, and yeah, so that's the mascara done. Um, and then what we're going to do, because I've done, I've got centre my head again, because I've done the under eye, I'm going to go underneath with my dark circles. I have a problem with dark circles. Um, sometimes I sleep really well, sometimes I don't. Um, so I'm just going to kind of fade that in a little bit. Um, normally they say put a different colour on under, you know, if you're going to cover up dark circles. But I just find that just makes it harder to find the dark circles to cover up. Um, so, yeah, that's that one. And I'm just going to put a little bit more under here because I really, I can see the dark circles and they're annoying me. Um, and that's, you know, there. Um, just quick cover up once. Um, and just need to do that a little bit more because it's not cool. Underneath. And then we're going to take my hair down. Mm -mm. And as you can see the skin looks a little bit healthier. It's a bit pale but I find if I go for one that's not pale and even that's like too golden it makes me look as if I'm orangutan and that's just not good. Um, I have a hairbrush here. So I'm just going to go through it. As you can see, it does look reddish on camera, but it is kind of fading out now. I need to re-dye it. Um, and then I'm just going to put it around there. And I'm just going to top up the mascara because I don't think my eyes are quite done yet. Um, but this is the kind of the, the nudest, palest look I've done. Um, normally I would have some eyeliner if I could be bothered. Um, oh pardon me, I just burped on the YouTube, um, but sometimes you, you can't be bothered to put eyeliner on, um, and there's always a fear that you rub your eyes and the eyeliner comes off, um, because mine isn't waterproof, it's, it's this, 
it doesn't, you know, it's not waterproof. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit more blush on because I'm a bit pale. Um, I don't really put any foundation on my nose. Um, I just really should because it's quite red. I might put a little bit on my nose. Um, but that's... No, oh, that makes a bit of difference, I suppose. Um, so that's it. That's my mood kind of makeup look. Um, I will be doing a review on all of the things I've used because this is my makeup kit. And I will promise you I will do a review on every single one. Uh, the next one, as promised, is MAC uh, Face Infinity, which you can kind of see now because it's, it's on. Um, so, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, and I will post another one soon. Bye.